last time I used my fertiliser spreader, the spinner at the bottom here, this bit that I moved then, it broke off the shaft where it's welded on there, it's been welded on and, and it come around here and bent this bit and I'm sort of wondering how I'm going to fix it that, the old, I'll just tip it up lay it down on its side this, um, from this angle you can see it better but this plate here, this plate that I'm just moving it's obviously where it's welded on here hasn't really been good enough or I don't really understand why it's done a fair bit of work but still you wouldn't think that it had you know it's, it's just the steel's only probably uh, looks like about 1.5 millimeters thick and I think what's happened is this just from flexing up and down has just cracked around where the, the edge of the weld was and broken off so I'm gonna have to um, fix it and I don't really want to have to take the shaft out of it and everything it's a pretty big job to do that so what I think I'm gonna try and somehow do is cut another disc which I'll probably use stainless steel this time and um, probably split it and get it on there and weld it, weld it on, weld it on. Um, and this thing here, where this um, guard is that stops the fertiliser coming forward and it also takes this part, it also takes this part here, which alters whether it goes whether it goes uh, straight out, e even either side or out to the right or out to the left, you can see these things here. So what I think I'm going to do is take that apart, make a new one of them as well out of stainless. So I'll just copy it, drill the holes in the same place. These brackets here, this one here is still all right, but this one here. When it went crazy, this one broke, so I got a little bit of a job in front of me. So we'll see how I can go about fixing it. Okay, here's all the stuff. Here's all the stuff that I've cut off. I used a 5 inch angle grinder or a 125 millimeter disc angle grinder, 1 mil thick disc, and cut all the parts off that I had to fix. This is what this is what it looks like now and see up here there was brackets that held that angle piece, that guard on. They were just made out of light, really light shit, pardon the expression, but they were only made out of steel, probably again one and a half millimeters thick, <coughs> mild steel. So I'll clean all that up and I'll replace it with something with a little bit more guts and while I'm at it I'll oil all this machine this machine's not that old, probably about three years old but really, you know, and I've, I've religiously washed it every time I've used it I've washed it and put a bit of oil on it but basically really, <coughs> I suppose fertiliser is very corrosive but you know, if you look here at the galvanised steel on the thing perfect, not a, not a blemish you know, like it's as good as the day it was made. Why they don't, for a few extra bulb, galvanise the rest of it, it lasts forever, but I suppose they want you to buy another one or something, I don't know. Anyway, I'll fix her up. On the actual spinner disc, if you look where it was welded on, like that's the very edge of where the weld was, you can see that the metal, like, it's corroded away, it wouldn't have been even half a millimetre thick. So that's why it's failed, but you know, like bloody corrosive stuff, and you know, I acknowledge that it's not entirely its fault because it is very corro a very corrosive substance. But wouldn't you think for a few extra bucks they'd, you know, 
use some material that would last a bit longer than three years. Anyway, I guess it is what it is. I've got me circle cutter on me plasma cutter and I'm going to try and cut out a circle to replace the one that is all rusted out. This is stainless steel, it's 304, it's not marine grade, it's just structural grade but it'll last a lot longer than the mild steel. We'll see how we go. Okay, I put a pair of locking pliers here to stop it falling through, but also there's a little tab there that's still on. So I'll break it out of there now and clean it up, and uh, then I've got to work out how to put an edge on it. I've got some parts cut out now and worked out how I'm going to do this. And getting it on the shaft was a bit of an issue, and I thought, oh, maybe I'd split one side of it and, you know, try and wangle it on and... When I actually um, cut the metal out and compared it to the other in weight, this is actually heavier. So I thought I'd need, the other one's got a rim around the outside that they've um, rolled onto it with a roller of some sort. And I can't, I don't have the facility to do that, but after I cut it out I realised I don't need it, it's plenty strong enough. <coughs> These pieces here, what the idea is they go on get welded on as well and they're going to go they're going to go like that and get welded onto the shaft get plug welded here and get some stitching put along the outside so that's going to go like that and I may have to you know do a bit of trimming up with a die grinder or something to make it all fit properly so that's going to go like that and then for the flights or the veins or whatever you want to call them before it had these things that were bolted on and uh, fertilizer and seed gets down in there and you try to wash it out but not that I suppose stainless would be better but I've never ever adjusted them they've always been dead straight across so I've never had the need to adjust them so I'm just going to weld them on it and what I've done is I rolled a piece of the same material one and a half mil in the little roller and it hasn't quite rolled it as much as I'd probably like but I might um, put them in the press and just bend them a little bit more and I've cut one flight out and what I'm going to do uh, that goes like that and then these are going to get welded on here like this these are going to get welded on here like this and that'll fling the um, fertilizer out plus also I think it's going to make everything a, a lot stronger than it was before uh, I think these are sticking out a little bit more than they need to so I may even on this corner I may cut a bit of a relief in there and actually sit it in about there so it's actually um, helps to strengthen up uh, that so that joint isn't exactly there I'll probably put it in a little bit so that's the plan and that's what I'm up to
I've cut out all the and bent all these uh, oh, I don't know what you'd call them flights or the things that fling the fertiliser or seed out and what I actually did was I curved them but I, I actually put them in the press and you can see I've made a little bit more of a bend in the middle so they sort of so they hook over a bit more like these ones I don't know if it makes much difference but I thought I'd better make a bit of an attempt to uh, make them like the others, I don't know this, this here now you can see it's got a little cut out and I worked out how far these need to stick out so that's going to get welded roughly like that and um, up here where that crosses over that reinforcing piece that should make the whole thing a hell of a lot better thinking the way I'm going to have it now that's got to go there, the way I'm going to have this now with this all welded up and I'll weld the back side of that cut I think it's going to be really good I mean structure will be good as long as it works so the next thing to do is to make the guard that stops the fertiliser flinging forward unfortunately uh, my press will only do 18 inches and it's nearly 2 foot so I'm going to have to amend how that's done somehow okay I'll get on with it okay now this is a setup I've got for bending or press you know a little brake press I guess it's just on a 15 ton shop press that's homemade too and um, this isn't this is this thing here is actually a bought thing and it's only 18 inches long but and that's why I've had to do it the way I have but look if you're looking for something that's not real dear and to do that it's a really good thing um, I looked at it, making one and they had this on special for 150 bucks and I just couldn't you know I couldn't muck around and make it anyway look you just jack the handle it might, and as you can see it it slowly but surely um, it slowly but surely uh, bends the metal an air jack on it would be a lot better anyway so you can see it's bending it up probably a bit slow but I tell you what it's a lot better than um, trying to do it over a bit of wood with a hammer or something okay so <coughs> Now that looks about 90 degrees and I'll ease the pressure off and I'll check it with a square. Okay, I've folded her up and checked she's square and she is. And um, this is how it came out. That, that's the bit where it, these, this hole here is. And this hole is where the actual guard mounts. And that hole in the top, that slot, which actually is the wrong way uh, I'm going to have to recut that is for the um, for the thing that determines which side that it actually throws the um, fertiliser, it can throw it out the right or the left or the middle and that thing there is just a fine adjustment having said that it may not actually matter I don't think it will actually I think it'll still work on that side, so that'll be okay. Yeah, no, uh, it will. Yeah, no, that'll be all right. Okay, well, I'll get on with bending some ends up to put in here now, which is a bit of a balls up, but it's all I can do. I've made the bits, one here and one here, to put in the ends. I've just put that bit in there with a pair of lock pliers to see, and you can see the radius just here it's slightly different but that's all right I'll when I tack it in here I'll just put that on the anvil and panel beat it a bit so they're the same before I weld it so that'll come out good probably could have left that piece out but oh, I don't know it was in there and I sort of suppose I think that maybe I'll get you know more fertilizer on the tractor or something and I really don't want to I bloody uh, 
we, I get a little tiny bit now, not much, I mean I wash it off and everything and I keep the back end of the tractor oiled because it's in, unavoidable that you get a bit but I don't want any more than I have to. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, that's about it for part one of this video and tomorrow when I finish it I'll see how it comes out and put it all back together and test it and see if it works good.